Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickens. Just in from the National Weather Service, they are rated the Bellevue, Iowa tornado that's up in Jackson County as an EF2. That's a strong tornado. I was on the ground for 5.5 miles. And as the Weather Service crews are out surveying, the damage is going to take them several days because there was just so much damage across the entire two state that uh, it's going to take them uh, quite a bit of time to survey and see what exactly was tornado damage, what was uh, wind damage. Uh, so something that again, rare outbreak of severe weather. We've cleared that out obviously and in its wake, it's a much cooler day, but take a look at sky view. You could start to see some sunshine back there that is going to be moving in. These clouds will start will start to wear off as we head throughout the evening tonight. 49 right now here in the metro and feels like 45 that northwest wind at 10 starting to die out a little bit. And as we head throughout the evening hours into tomorrow, we'll start to see more of a southerly flow and that'll help warm things up. You can see cooler to the east as that system continues to push off to the southwest. You can start to see that warm air. It's 52 down in Keokuk, 50 in Ottumwa. But look at this temperature difference from just 24 hours ago. Look at that. 19 degrees in the Quad Cities. Uh, 19 degrees cooler than what we saw uh, this time uh, yesterday. 23 degrees in Chicago. That warm air out west is going to be making its way into our area. Look at this. Tornado warnings now all the way down into Delaware, up through the New Jersey area, close to Philly. Uh, even the New York City area getting in on some of that action. That's all part of that storm system that impacted us yesterday. So it just shows you how dynamic that was. That's an area that is very rare to see uh, tornadic activity. So that system off to the east will have a little bit of a lull here for the next 24 to 48 hours, maybe see a little bit of a rain shower on Monday, but then another system building in that will impact us on Tuesday and folks starting to get more concerned about this. And, uh, you know, we talked uh, with this last one it went out several days where we started talking about this and very similar to that last one. This one, all the models are really agreeing on this and it could be I'm, I'm saying it could be um, very similar and, and even some cases uh, might even a little bit more significant than this last one. Don't want to alarm you. Just want you to prepare. Now start thinking about Tuesday on what you're going to do. Everybody acted really great on this last one. A lot of schools dismissed early. A lot of people went home and let that thing pass through. Tuesday could be another one of those days. We want again, we got to get some more model agreement here. We got to get a little bit better idea of the timing on this and how strong this will be. But I can tell you folks now it does look similar in some ways to this last one we just had low pressure builds into the plains, almost eerily similar placement of that. A warm front develops and this is what's going to be a little bit different about this is as that warm front develops. We're going to get temperatures into the mid 70s. And what I've got here is you got the precipitation on here, but that white and orange on there, that's the thunderstorm energy. As that warm front moves through, look at that pool of energy available. Thunderstorms are going to develop along that warm front ear out, out ahead of that cold front. Those storms are going to have the potential to produce severe weather, including tornadoes, and we could see some strong tornadoes as well with that. Cold front moves in another second wave, just like this last one, will move in with all modes of severe weather possible as well. Taking a look at the local exact track for tonight, again, cloud cover clears out. Tomorrow we might see a few passing clouds, especially to the north, but overall going to be a nice day. Exact track even want to get us close to 70 tomorrow. Possibility is there. I might bump up that temperature on the seven day. Cloud cover builds in Monday. Passing shower, maybe a quick thunderstorm. Uh, not as warm, but then we set the stage for, again, that system on Tuesday. Again, what could be a severe weather outbreak day. First alert day in effect for Tuesday. The reason this is happening, folks, is very similar to this last one. We are right on the line. This is the jet stream. The jet stream is that steering current in the atmosphere, which moves all these storm systems, and that gives us what we call shear in the atmosphere, especially when we see these strong winds up there. It's just really puts us in play for all these storm system. And, and again, here Tuesday into Wednesday, right over top of us. So something that we'll continue to watch. And again, there you are Thursday. We stay right in line with that. Again, first alert day going to be in effect Tuesday. Right now, we're saying noon to 6 a.m. Wednesday. Again, we might change that uh, as some more models come in and gets a little bit better agreement on the timing of it. But for now, be prepared Tuesday afternoon into the evening, and this might be an overnight event as well into Wednesday. So again, something that we're going to keep a very close eye on. For your seven day, nice day tomorrow, 66 degrees, a lot of sunshine, passing shower or two on Monday, 60 degrees, not quite as warm as tomorrow. Again, I will say this on Sunday too. Tomorrow we might bump that temperature up just a little bit. 74 first alert day on Tuesday. Again, folks, it's 
good now to prepare for that as it looks like could be another high impact event. Cooler on Wednesday, much cooler with uh, some AM storms and then Thursday, Friday starting to warm up a little bit closer to average for this time of year. Thanks, Kyle. A confirmed tornado touched down near Hills 